too wise now. <laughs> we'll be taking a long trip today. All right. We are headed out. Love that smell. Okay. Actually, I need this part. All right, it's gonna be a long day today, probably. Uh, I'm heading out to Palmdale. Um, I charge to 90% and it says that the range is 270% so um, we'll, we'll see how this uh, first trip goes I've, I've been to Palmdale uh, a couple of times handful of times um, in the model 3 and so should be should be fine um, let's let's see how it goes <laughs> all right uh, two minutes in the trip already a pit stop got a um, Get a little bit of breakfast of champions, okay? <laughs> Had to stop by McDonald's. Gotta get my um, bacon egg cheese McGriddle, but uh, they messed up and gave me a, a biscuit instead. So I guess it's it's cool that they did bacon egg and cheese part, but not the McGriddle. Oh well, all good. And I ran into my my pay rent, so uh, yeah, I call them pay rents because they, they paid the rent when I was uh, growing up. <laughs> Shout out to the pay rents. Um, but yeah, uh, let's go. We gotta get going. So here's some specs uh, on the way up here. Drove 67 miles, one hour and 15 minutes, 312 uh, watt hours per mile. So that's not too bad considering there was a lot of uphills and the AC is blowing because it's like <laughs> over 100 degrees. Um, but yeah, generally you want to be under 300 uh, watt hour per mile in efficiency. All right, I got here in Antelope Valley. Oh man, I got my parking pass that I ran over. <laughs> and we're gonna be, uh, I'm just here because the commute to this event is actually better than going to work. Um, I'll be assisting in this event by just taking photos and video um, for us to be using as I guess sharing the event for next time and um, maybe marketing for future events so I'm just getting out my camera gear and just I guess getting getting ready so that when we walk there I'll be ready to go um, but yeah so that's it I parked in the dirt so oh no it's gonna get dusty it's only 10 o'clock and it's 94 degrees already so man this is gonna be hot so all right see y'all later okay made it home Whew. and according to the trip computer going home was 68 miles took about an hour and 25 minutes and the energy is 280 watt hours per mile so as you can see it's a little different going to where i went my destination because it's more of a downhill than an uphill so total for everything um because i have this thing called since last charge it's 136 miles i used up 41 kilowatt hours and my average energy is 299 watt hours per mile. Um, usually I'd say 
under 300 watt hours per mile is very efficient so we were under that so that's a good thing um so again this is not our first model y but it's my first full-time model y because abby has her model y and I'd say as far as driving, um, the suspension is stiffer because this is the performance model. So feeling the bumps, I, I, I don't mind that. It's not a Model X. so. <laughs> um, but the drive was great. I think compared to my previous uh, Tesla, the Model 3 long range, I, I like driving the Model Y better simply because um, I'm like at a higher, like higher seating. Um, but other than that, it's it's just it's very similar because the the Model Y and the Model Three, all all the Model Y is, is pretty much a a higher vehicle, like it's sitting on a higher platform, I guess. Um, now I was able to, you know, play with the performance part um, in areas where it's just there's no one around, and um, uh, yeah, it's it's performing. <laughs> It's, it's performance um so it was it was fun it was very hot it's still hot uh right now it's 104 degrees but um where i was at it was 109 degrees and yeah um my state of charge right now is 32 percent uh, i left with 90 percent so let's do some quick math napkin math um let's just say it's 30 percent state of charge at the end of the day that's I've used up 60%, right? And let's pretend that um, the EPA, you know, range for this Model Y is 300 miles at, at you know, fully fully charged and everything. Um, so if you were to use 60% of the 300 miles, um, I guess you could say that I've used up uh, energy to, to travel 180 miles, but it says that I've traveled 136. So you might say, oh man, that, you know, like it, it, it's using up more energy. And well, yes, yes. So keep in mind that these EPA range um, calculations and everything is like flat road. Um, and you're driving like 60 miles an hour. Uh, there's no wind or you know resistance is low um, so just just keep that in mind um, also you have to consider that I was at I was at the event for a good two three hours and sentry mode is on the the alarm system is on the cameras are uh, constantly recording um, the cabin uh, the cabin temperature thing I forgot what it's called um it's on so what happens is if if the car detects that the cabin temperature is too high it's it's gonna kick the fans up it's gonna it's gonna kick up the fans so those use up energy um i'd say and, and it was like 109 degrees so i'd say it was using it constantly i think i may have uh, or the car may have spent i don't know three percent maybe four five percent um of state of charge while it was parked there for you know three hours or so actually almost four hours um so it used energy as it's just sitting there parked um just to keep the fans blowing and sentry mode um working so so a lot uh some of the energy is is spent there not just driving but um anyway uh the driving is great it doesn't feel any different than the model 3 i had um i like it better because i sit taller because it's a taller car um performance is performance uh was fun and um i'm, I'm missing my model 3 a little bit just because it is a uh, I, I sit lower um so but at the same time i'd i'd rather sit higher i don't know <laughs> i don't know i don't know but um i mean the three is gone hello why performance and um so far so good i mean I, I didn't expect a, a huge difference um, between my 3 and the Y, so, and we've had the Y, so I know what to expect. Um, the only difference is, again, the, uh, the performance. Um, so that's it. First big trip, I guess. I don't know. In California, 
driving over 100 miles is like driving to the liquor store <laughs> everything is far here so um that's pretty much my commute i mean it's a little more than my usual commute to work um this is just a um a place that i was asked to go and 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 cover the event uh, i'm not really covered but just take pictures record video uh and and just provide some assistance and that's what i did i, I thought it would be a, a a good opportunity to to take the new car and um yeah just put some miles on it so that's it thank you for watching if you have any questions or any ideas for next videos let me know um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and like the video thanks for watching